Okay, our top uh, Sunoco rookie of the uh, race for tonight's 10th Annual North Carolina Education Lottery. Coming in at eighth place, Jeb Burton. He drove the number 27 State Water Heaters Chevrolet. And uh, Jeb uh, certainly ran a, a strong race. And I know you're disappointed, <clears throat> maybe dropped a couple spots there towards the tail end, but talk about your run. Certainly very, very impressive. Is that on, Jeff? Jeff, try it now. Okay. Um, yes, sir, it was. Um, I kind of got down on myself a couple weeks ago at Kansas, made a rookie mistake, <coughs> ran it in too hard. So um, I'm really happy for my, my guys and state water heaters and for myself and my family. Um, I'm shaking right now. I've, I've wanted this so bad, and I'm real blessed for my opportunity, and it means a lot to me. Questions for our top rookie, Jeb Burton. Any questions down here? Bob Pockers. Uh, Bob Pockers, Sporting News. Um, talk about shaking. I mean, how was it nerve wracking? I mean, it wasn't like you were in 15th the whole day and, you know, just slipped up there in the top 10 at the finish. You were in the top 10 for mo most of the race. Yes, sir. Um, I just mean, you know, I'd I just, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited for my family and myself and opportunity. I, I'm kind of limited on my races. I got one more race after this, so I'm trying to prove myself so I can get an opportunity so I can race with these guys every week. So um, I'm just really, really happy right now and ready to get to Dover. How about that? Is he his father's son or what? I love him. Chip off the old block. He is. He's awesome. Third place finisher, Todd Bodine. Former NASCAR Camping World Truck Series champion. Comes in third tonight, driving that number 11 Toyota Care Toyota. And uh, Todd, talk about your finish tonight. Good, strong showing. Yeah, it was, uh, it was good, good in the end. Uh, we started off terrible. Uh, just really, really loose. Uh, I'll take the blame for that. I, I thought in practice I had it to where it was balanced really well, and uh, I didn't. And we started off way too loose. And Rick made a bunch of adjustments, uh, big, big swings at it and got it really good. And I told him I was still just a little free in the middle. He made one more adjustment, and I was too tight. <laughs> so uh, I messed up twice. But yeah, we had a good run. I'm not going to complain. You know, we, uh, uh, we've had some good runs this year. We've had some bad runs. We struggled a little. Uh, you know, we were really fast at Kansas. And um, the caution got us and, and put us out of sequence and all that and got back to fifth. But uh, you know, I'm not going to complain. We had a decent run. It's a it's a great race team. I'm I'm very proud to be a part of Red Horse Racing. Uh, Mr. Delosh has done a great job with it, and great job surrounding himself with good people, and that's what it takes. And I'm uh, I'm proud to be a part of it. You know, Timmy's leading the points, and I'm sure we made a lot of gains tonight. So uh, it was a good night all in all. And John got a flat right rear and crashed. Oh, Questions for Todd, Bob. Uh, Bob Parker, Sporting News. A couple questions. Just, I mean, can you kind of update us on like what your plans are for the rest of the year? Do you, I mean, how many more races do you know you've got? And then also, did you see the? I mean, obviously Keselowski was a little bit ticked at Hornaday at the end of the race for the next to last restart. Did you see what happened there? And was it just racing, or was it more than that? No. Uh, well, first uh, we're going to Dover. Um, you know, my wife Janet's been working on getting us some sponsors and actually doing a really good job and, and having a little bit of success. Got a lot of people we're talking to, um, you know, people that say that there's no no corporations out there that are interested in, in NASCAR and auto racing. They're crazy. You just got to get to the right people and have the right pitch and you make things happen. So they're, they're, we're working on it. Um, I feel pretty confident we'll be going the rest of the races. Uh, that restart deal... You know, that was uh, both both times the front row was what messed that up. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what Justin was doing going so slow on those restarts. Uh, you know, and then uh, Brad did the same thing. And it just jacks everybody up. And you start spinning tires and people are going every which way. There's absolutely – it's absurd to be mad at anybody for that. <laughs> I mean, it's just part of the game. I mean, that's what – you know, it's all <coughs> determined on the front row what they do. Uh, I guess Brad thought that, that Ron run into him for no reason, but everybody was going and Brad didn't, you know. So it's just it's just a racing deal. 
you know, he's he's got to get over it. He's racing trucks, not cup cars.